Welcome to England, madam. Mademoiselle saint -Hubert. I trust the crossing was smooth? Perfectly, thank you. Ah! 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 Quiet, quiet. The house mascot, madam. This way, if you please. I'm glad you had a smooth crossing. I think madam will like the room. It's the best we have. Mademoiselle. I beg your pardon? I am mademoiselle. This is it. The room will do very well, thank you. Put it down. Madam would like some breakfast? Coffee, perhaps? Oh, no, nothing, nothing at all. from the castle? Yes. You have the letters? I have them here, madam. Mademoiselle, give them to me. They were very hard to get, mademoiselle. The wear and tear on my nerves. Oh, yes, yes. Please. And I had to sit up night after night, waiting. Oh, I quite understand. Thank you, mademoiselle. He's retiring, you know. Retiring? So soon? They're giving him something. One of those big flags or an old sword or something.
Come on. Well, if I were your age, Robert, those little virgins down there, they wouldn't last out the summer. Do you think I lack character or something, Vincent? Well, get after it, boy. Get after it. I mean, I'm your legal guardian. I'm entitled to tell you about these things. If, if only you would, sir. On the other hand, what happened? Uh, I'm not too sure, sir. You take one of these little virgins under the apple tree. You wake up ten minutes later. What have you got? Uh, hmm? Huh? I'll tell you. You're married to her, and you're keeping a poor old mother. But I, I'm too young for marriage, aren't I, sir? In no time at all, Robert, you'll be too old. You'll be like me, you see. You'll be sitting at your desk, dictating your memoirs. And Robert, huh? you get the urge sometimes, I hope. Oh, yes, I do, sir. Yes, good, because life without the urge, Robert, is unthinkable. Well, oh. Now then, get on with your work, all of you. What is this, a kitchen or a doss house? Really, well, Robert, you feel know, as sprightly as a two-year-old, almost like a widow. Good morning. Good morning, sir. We'll work later, my boy. I uh, must get this damn corset up. Yeah. Very good, sir. Uh, Agnes, has a new girl arrived yet? Not yet, sir. Well, let me know when she does, will you? <laughs> Melanie. It's Rosemary, sir. Of course it is. I never forget a pretty little face. <laughs> Come here, young man. <laughs> yes, madam. Oh, you took your time. Has he come back yet? I'm not certain, madam. Well, find out. Find out at once. Yes, madam. Later, my child. Later. Later. Sure. Well, go and look for him. I know he's around here somewhere. Leo? I saw you, Leo. I know you're there. Yes, sir. Uh, I am here, my love. Yes, yes. What are you doing? Oh, uh, just changing. Yes, you're, you're thinking. I can hear you. <laughs> what are you thinking about? Ah. Uh... I'm thinking about you, my love. Oh, liar. You're thinking about women. Damn and blast it. There, I've caught you out. You're swearing because I've caught you out. Don't be ridiculous. I'm swearing at my corsets, my love. I'm only ill because of you. Come now, my love, now. I'm ill because I know what you're doing. I am merely unfastening my corset, madam. You're thinking about women as you do it. I know. What drab have you got in there now? Oh. Oh. You're sighing. What's going on? Oh, nothing. Nothing's going on. Inside your head, though. What's going on in there? My head, madam, is out of bounds. It's the only place I've got left where I can have a bit of peace. I'll get into it one day. You'll find me there when you least expect it. As you wish, madam, as you wish. Meanwhile, I shall take the doctor's advice and close the door on you. Leo, I've a bit of... Leo! Damn you, madam. Damn you, damn you. He's coming. Papa! Papa! Yes, what is it? What is it? What shall we do about our dresses for the hunt ball? Do nothing about them. How can you say that, Papa? New dresses give young girlies ideas. But we've nothing to wear. We don't wear nothing. It's much more jolly. Robert, have you got those uh, notes of mine? Uh, yes, hmm? We need new dresses, Papa. We've grown, Papa. You never stop growing. Look at me. Have I grown? People hmm? grow to wear 25. Not if they've got any tact, they don't. Oh, Papa! Oh, very well. Robert will take you down to Mrs. Bolstrow's dress shop later on, and then you can, um, yeah. One of us you're going to marry, Robert. One or the other, Robert, you promise. Will you kindly go away? You are not allowed in here. What did I say to you just now? Robert, okay. Robert will take you down to the shop later. Oh, my God, they're ugly. Aren't they ugly? How can you enjoy a pretty face and bring that into the world? Your daughters have certain qualities, sir. Yes, I know, my boy, but they're the wrong ones, unfortunately.
Sit down, Robert. Sit down. Sit down. Now, where were we? Relations between the Sultan and the government, sir. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, that was the... That was the day they made off with two of our missionaries. Yes. You see, they got hold of these two fellas, had a bit of fun with them, sent them back dead as mutton, minus uh, one or two of their spare parts. Of course, it was an insult to the flag. I should say it was, sir. Yes, it certainly was. We, we had to mount an expedition. But, oh, my boy, Robert, what a campaign that was. What a campaign. Oh, we got our money's worth for those two angel makers, I can tell you. The heathens we ran through. Good, clean steel, you see, my boy, and none of your bloody nonsense. Slaughtered a lot of them, left, right, and center. Ah. Yes. Yes. Then there was the women. Oh, yes, sir. Yes. Those native girls. Little things, crouching, naked. Little minxes with the devil in their eyes. Limbs like silk. Figures, my lad. Uh, you, your sword still steaming in your hand, you've killed your other master. She knows it, you know it. There in the hot, dark tent, the two of you, alone. The, the, the hot, dark tent? Hmm? What? Uh, what? What happened then, sir? Well, damn it all, Robert, we're not savages. We, um, uh, turned them over to the Sisters of Mercy at Rabat. There's that Grogan ruining my memoirs again. Ah, I see you're doing your scientific research again, Dr. Grogan. Yes. What's the matter with you this time? Well, there's a little leak yeah. in the top radiator. Yeah. Mm. You see, there's a water pump at the bottom, and when the water goes up, then... Would you like me to tell you about me old stallion's peculiar fetlocks? See, you got your blueies on. Huh? Yes, put them on. And how's the invalid? Any scenes today? Hmm? Oh, no, no, no. Small one. I took your advice. <laughs> Closed the door on her. Good, good. Because the only reason she won't walk is to rouse your pity and stop you leaving her. Ah, it's blackmail. That's what it is, blackmail. To think I once loved her. Ah. It's happened to all of us, General. Yes. Because before becoming a professional invalid, Emily had quite an amorous disposition, you know. Really? Yes. Did I ever tell you she was an opera singer? Often. Ah, yeah. of course I made her give it all up. Now she hates you for it. I don't see why. She's gone on giving the same performance for 20 years. Just for me. Mm. A little wearing, General. Yes, yeah. yeah. Where's your coat? Oh, I left it in the car. Uh, uh, sh shall I answer it, sir? No, ignore it, my boy, ignore it. And close the door, for God's sake. Yeah. Very good, sir. How's your wife, Grogan? Oh, running well. I treat her as an early model motor car, you know. It's fascinating how these ancient machines continue to work so efficiently. Hmm. Well, you'd better go up and lubricate my old heap. Damn good parade they gave it today, General. Yes, it was, yes. They'll miss you, won't they? Well, I hope so, yes. You'll be at home more. Do you imagine I hadn't thought of that? Just look at me. All the gold trimmings here, you see? Underneath, the boy's heart dying to give his all. And that's what they call a, a fine career. Would it help if I told you much the same story? Not in the slightest.
I haven't marked your card yet. I need to. You promised me the poker, Gilet. Mm -hmm. Did you promise oh, me the poker? Don't oh. forget me, Gilet. Now who's going to have the waltz before the English arrive? I'll need to dance with me. Who shall it be? Me, Gilaine, because I asked you before the other. No, me, you promise. Oh, please, you All promise. All right, Aunt Bess. I shall have you, because your name begins with A. And you, Zachariah, because your name begins with Z. A bientôt, monsieur. Oh, Gilaine. Gilaine, I'll change my name. <laughs> Quite finished, young man? Oh, oh, yes, I. Sorry, sir. May I see your carnet of bell, mademoiselle? But my card is full, Metro. It is, Metro. Is it not? Uh, Major Fitzjohn, commanding Her Majesty's 11th Dragoons, at your service, ma'am. Then I cannot refuse, sir. Elaine, what are you doing here? There's going to be a devil of a row. Good, that's why I can't. Shh, my love, she's got ears everywhere. Oh, let me look at you. <laughs> you. Myself. My own. I took the night express. Yes. And then the packet. And then the day express. Oh, my Amazon. But should you have traveled so far alone? On the train, a man spoke to me. What? He asked me the time. Why? But I was perfectly calm. I was armed. Uh, careful, my love. Oh, you have it still. Mm. It has protected me all these years. For you, Leo. Thank you. Thank you. But now I find you are retired. Oh, only from the army, my darling. Never from our great love. Oh, oh that's all I want to know. Jelaine, uh -huh. you can't stay here. Of course I can. Uh, Emily's next door. It's quite impossible. Everything is possible now, Leo. Yes, it is. Of course it is, but not here. Allow me to take a room at the inn for you. For us. I have already taken it. Oh, wonderful. You've uh, arranged everything then? Everything. And I have here in my reticule evidence that will make you free, Leo. Oh. How long years will not have been wasted? Seventeen years. Seventeen years since the cavalry ball at Saumur. I've just been posted to France, Major Fitzgerald. Oh, Leo, the enchantment of that first waltz. the name of that waltz? The waltz of the Toreadors. I shall never forget it. <laughs> 